Hello, thank you for joining me. We are continuing our walk along the old railway line which runs from Leek up towards Macclesfield and we're just coming up to Rushton Spencer Station. Now this one, it opened with the line in 1849 and it closed with the line in 1960. So unlike Cliff Park Stroke Rudyard, it's, um, which opened later and then it changed its name and everything, this one just existed with the railway and um, also unlike Cliff Park Stroke Rudyard Lake, there's more to see. So when we get here now, immediately we can see the platform is still here. And it looks as though the station buildings here, by the way I haven't actually seen any of this before, so as I do this video I'm showing it to you as I see it for the first time. There appears to be a good shed standing which is great, so whether there were two platforms I'm not sure, because most of the formation seems to be double track going by the size of the bridges etc so um not sure if there ever was a platform there i'm not sure about them so yeah i'm unsure whether there was a platform there but it looks like going by the edge of that stone under the fence there was two platforms and just see the station building what i think we'll do is we'll walk around here well, obviously we can't don't have any choice because that is now someone's garden so we won't obviously walk through there but we should be able to see the front of the railway station and um we'll see if we can see any more so it looks like that possibly was a very small goods shed, that building there, certainly in the right place. There's a pub just here called the Knot Inn, so if you're waiting for your train and you had a while to wait, then you could have gone and had a pint or two in the pub, which I always think is nice when you get these remote railway stations. That's a bit of an interesting one about the actual name of the village, because it was originally called Rushton Spencer, but from what I've been told, it's now just called Rushton. I'm not sure why that is. But if anyone does know, wants to comment and tell me why they dropped the Spencer bit, um, please do. But I'm going to call the station Rudyard, not Rudyard Spencer, Rushton Spencer, because the Spencer bit, I think, was dropped way after the railway closed. So there is the station building. Lovely little North Staffordshire station building, similar to Cheddleton, which um, we haven't actually featured properly in Henry's Adventures yet. I have been there, but I haven't actually gone and made a video there, so... We will do that section of the Churnit Valley line one day. And as I said, that is the not in. So there would have been a level crossing just up there. So let's go and have a look at that. And the track bed would have continued that way on towards Macclesfield. This road didn't actually join, go into Macclesfield itself. Um, we'll get onto it later, but it joined the line which... Um, is the line that goes comes off the West Coast Main Line at Shugborough and um, carries on up to Manchester. I've just noticed something now here. Look at the edge of this. See where these cobbles are? See, look, they've actually used a piece of railway. There's rail that trains would have ran on. They've bent it. Obviously, it wouldn't have been this sharp. So it looks as though there must have been some rail lying around. They've got it and they've used it, which is quite good to see. So the path continues that way. Look at that. Didn't expect to see that. There's a signal, look, a semaphore signal. And um, it says go, so that means we should carry on going, which we will. But having a look here, you can see the station platform. This is someone's garden, but as I can see it from a public right away, I don't see why not. So you can see where the platforms are. So it looks like two trains could have passed here. So let's just have a look. Um, is there a path? Hmm, is that a path or not? I'm not sure. It doesn't overly look like it. I just wanted to see the, the signal from this side. Let's just go up here a little bit, just so we can see what the, the signal better. There you go. So there's the signal behind me. As I said, it is signalling to go. So I'm going to carry on now. And um, what I'm going to do, this section of the railway, well, all the way from Leek up to beyond here, is a public footpath. But I think what's going to happen is later on it won't be a public footpath so back on the track bit again so we are going to carry on up there um but later on it won't be a public footpath so i think it's going to come fragmented as to what i can show you of it because some of it will be in private property as in farmlands and i don't overly fancy getting chased by any dogs um so probably what will happen is up here the railway line crosses the river so what I think I'll do with this video is um, I won't record all the way because it will just be me walking through a tunnel 
of trees for 20 odd minutes. I'll um, stop filming now and as if by magic I'm going to appear further up the railway line. So, as I said, I'd magically appear further on up the track. Well, in the last two seconds I've gone three quarters of a mile. Obviously I paused the camera and walked, but anyway. We've now come this bit further up the track. Now what has been a very long path, all the way from Leek, continuous this huge railway, looks as though it's about to come to a bit of an abrupt ending. So this section of path is part of the Staffordshire Way. And it's something I'm not sure when, but I would like to do in the future. And obviously I'd make a series of Henry's Adventures videos on it. It starts up on Kinver Edge, finishes at Mal Cops. So are both great places, both National Trust. Kinverez has the rock houses, Mal Cop has the folly. So definitely places worthy of making a video, along with many others on the way. Well, it looks as though, let's have a look, does it say Staffordshire Way? Yeah, look, the Staffordshire Way goes down those steps and leaves the track bed. It doesn't actually follow the track bed all the way from Leek, it goes round the other side of Rudyard Lake, up past Cliff Park Hall. So, to, do, to walk along the Staffordshire Way, you wouldn't only just be walking along here, do lots of other exciting bits. Give you an idea where we are, that hill you can see in the distance, that is the cloud which towers above Congleton and again somewhere I'd like to go in the future. So the path, I think this might be an unofficial path now, but it kind of carries on a bit so let's have a look. What I'm thinking is we'll probably come to the river and the bridge will be missing, but I'm not entirely sure because as I said I haven't actually done it, I'm doing, making the video as I discover it. So wait and see what happens but I think we are no longer on an official public footpath you never know it might carry on the bridge might be there I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to just carry on because I think if there's a path I'll carry on but if there isn't a path um, I won't start wandering across farmers fields as I mentioned earlier I kind of did expect it to be that as soon as the Staffordshire way left the formation the bridge would be there straight away but it appears not quite to be the case so we we'll have to keep exploring i can hear someone's out shooting you might be able to hear the bang bang i can see a fence ahead i think we might be going to go as far as i can go for the time being on the railway line so what i'm going to have to do is find an alternative route to the next railway station I wanted to show you so um, I'll work that out when I finish filming I think but let's just enjoy the last bit the trap bed we're actually going to go along for the time being so we have been able to walk along the trap bed from the other side of the tunnel at Leek, unhindered, all the way along until this point. Now here we are, it says it's all fenced off, so it doesn't look like I've got any chance of getting onto the bridge. It says, no public access beyond River Dane Bridge. So as I said, it's all farmlands really, and you can't really see a lot, but it looks as though the bridge is still there. I can just see the water of the river below, but it looks like it's gonna be quite hard for me to be able to show that to you. Can we see? Not really, no, but the river is down there. So, from the River Dane on the old railway line from Leek up towards Macclesfield. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'm gonna to have to retrace my steps, so goodbye.